hey, today's going to be a quick one. It's going to go into BitChute first, and it'll also go to YouTube, but I would expect YouTube to take it down because they are heavily censoring anything regarding this topic, uh, particularly if it does not follow their narrative, and I am not following their narrative today. I'm not going to make any specific claims, but that didn't stop them from taking down this video, which was a very well balanced video. It was not anti-vax. It was looking at the, 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 the situation as a whole. And the main concern it, it raised was the issue of control and pe removing choice from people. Uh, people need to make, be able to make the choice from the self for their own particular situation and basically re combating this idea that the state uh, should have the authority to make this decision for you. So you can get, you can still watch that video if, you, if you're interested. Uh, he re-uploaded it to Rumble, Brighton, and UGTube. I didn't even know about these two until Walter <laughs> started using them. So thank you, Walter. And YouTube, wel welcome to the Strizen Effect, you authoritarian bullies. All right. So as I was looking into this, this topic, and I was going to do a, a bigger video on this topic, I remembered back in November uh, last year, there was a discussion about a bill for having kids being vaccinated uh, pretty young without their parental consent or knowledge or something like that. So when I looked into it, one of the first links that comes up was Snopes. So let's take a look what Snopes has to say, what the fact checkers have to say. What conclusions do they want to bring you to? Okay, so did a bill pass that lets ki U.S. kids get vaccinated without parental consent? Okay, so what, what's the actual, what is she saying? Oh, by the way, um, this is, I don't want this to turn a personal attack. I thought it was just funny, though. Uh, when I saw this name, I'm like, wait a minute. That name sounds familiar. And then when I was recently on Project Veritas, I remember, oh, yeah, that's right. She had a recent retraction. She's on the, the wall of shame at, uh, at Project Veritas. So don't don't go after her, but this is, this is about debunking Snopes here. Um, but just a funny aside. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so here's the claim. A U.S. law, a U.S. law, allows children as young as 11 to get vaccinated without their parents' consent. Now, mind you, this is her, her interpretation of the claim, but I think this is a pretty fair claim, okay? And I would even reword it saying, is this a, this is a concern? So the concern is that kids can get vaccinated without their parents' knowledge or consent. So their, their parents have their own plans for their kids, and how they want to handle this, will that, will the parents' plans and wishes be respected, or will the, the, their peers or will the teachers be able to influence and go against the wishes of the parents? So the question is, is that a valid concern in the United States? Okay. So according to Snopes, that is mostly false. Okay, so... Aha, debunked, right? Well, I went to the actual uh, source cited, and it does. Uh, I didn't even have to do that, though, because um, it gives a little snippet there. The, the very article here disproves itself. So if I go, what's true? Okay, so the D.C. Council passed a law specific to Washington, D.C. in late December 2020 that allows children as young as 11 to receive vaccines if they're deemed capable by a doctor of giving informed consent, which a doctor can say, yep, they're capable of informed consent. Okay, so is the concern valid that kids can get vaccines without 
uh, uh, without having to consult with the parents. Yes, but, but by, by what that, that very section. Okay, so they say, well, what's false? No nationwide U.S. law allows children as young as 11 to get vaccinated without the consent of their parents, although some states allow minors to get some vaccines if their parents are opposed. That, that, that wasn't even part of the claim. The claim says a U.S. law. So any, anywhere in the U.S., it could be one, one city in the U.S., one state in the U.S. So cl it's clear from what's, in what's true is that it's in Washington, D.C. and in other states. So there's multiple areas in the United States where kids can get vaccines without parental consent. So it's not mostly false, it's mostly true. It's almost completely true because the concern is that here in free United States, well, I mean Canada, but North America, free, free, the free US, kids are, can, can go, parents are not free to parent. And the state or, or the ed education system can um, apply their own um, their own plans instead of the, the parents' plans for the kids. This and, and so this 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 is a, a horrible horrible um, abuse of, of this tag. Snow, Snopes, I mean. Should, should get they should get another hall of shame entry for this this is horrible this is true this is a true concern that that was passed so to the point and to the title of this this video is you need to draw your own conclusions whatever conclusions they're drawing it's clear that they have a narrative that they want to come to and w they will either suss the evidence or just ignore evidence. The key thing is they have to come to a united narrative across all the media talking heads. So whenever you get, if you're gonna have to, just like I did in this article, I don't, this badge, this the conclusion that they come to in the garbage. It means nothing, it's, it's worthless. What, what actually matters is the actual evidence and you come to your own conclusion. Screw their, their conclusion, their, their conclusion is garbage. You read, you read the evidence and often it will be couched in all kinds of weasel words and whatnot. So you'll have to pick all that out, find the evidence, come to your own conclusion. Even me, you know, it, am I trustworthy? Like look, look at the evidence I provide. Um, have I been consistent and come to your own conclusion? Uh, do not do not just be a blind follower. So that's it. I will see you in the next one. This will actually make a good segue into the next video, which I will cover the uh, the, the chart I was mentioning before about uh, how how society is structured. And again, you will need to come to your own conclusion again. All right, catch you in the next one.